Hi, my name is David Schell, and I have played Hercule Poirot in the play entitled Murder on the Orient Express. My name is Marina Halim, and I play Mrs. Hubbard. My name is Abby Green. Abigail Green, if you want to be formal. What do you want to say? Hi, I'm Lydia Temperley, and I played Greta Olson. And I played the Countess. My name is Andrew Roberts, and I played Hector McQueen. I'm Evie Green, and I played Mary Denegan. I'm Victoria Castillo Carqueve, and I played Princess Dragomirov in Moto. Hi, my name is Emma Wilson, and I was the nanny and a passenger. My name is Christopher George, and I played the part of Samuel Ratchet. Hi, I'm Lily Hotchkiss. I was a passenger, and I did all the lights for Murder on the Green Express. My favorite part was probably when um, Michelle comes in uh, with my bourbon, and I get to see. When we were on the balcony, and I had to hug Elisha, I practiced it. I had to practice how to hug him. Okay, it's actually a tie between when I slap, um, what's his face? Stay away from me. Probably when the Countess slaps, um, Ratchet. Well, it's Chris George, but Ratchet. Ratchet, yeah. Probably when we opened up Greta's suitcase and we saw her undergarments in the last show when we were all in Ratchet's room, like, discussing the murder, and I ripped off his wig. Just that whole scene running it through production week and during the play was super funny to me. The one where Mrs. Hubbard and the princess started arguing. Okay. Oh, okay. The real question is, can I remember all 37 of my lines? My favorite line of the play was probably um, the Queen's line. Uh, did you see his chest? Just because it was easy to make fun of. My favorite line that I had was someone should shoot her and put her out of her misery. Vicky's. Someone should shoot her and put her out of her misery. Most of my lines were just crying, so I guess that would be my favorite line. My favorite overall was definitely Book's line. More, more like the whole scene where Book is trying to figure out how the gun works. It is an automatic. It is not it. And she's pulling the trigger and it's, it doesn't have the safety on it. Just that whole scene in itself is one of my favorites. Mr. Poirot, I'd like to discuss that uh, proposition I mentioned. I like the line where I correct Mrs. Hubbard for saying falafel wrong. I woke up feeling disorientated at any point when I say, I married. My favorite line in the play was, stop, you will not go get it. I will retrieve it when I am ready. <clears throat> you will not go get it. I will get it when I am ready. Uh, no, you will not go get it. I will go get it when I am ready. This is my favorite because I'm telling Mrs. Hubbard off for trying to do my job. My favorite one that I had was probably um, when I make fun of the show and I say, please. The improvised line by David that was made up in the third show. Um, my favorite line that somebody else said was actually um, Poirot. When I ran into the princess and he said that I should play football with the move that I pulled on the princess. Um, that fraud, Pablo Picasso. That's my favorite line. Probably making friends. Just hanging out with the cast, uh, getting closer to everyone. Honestly, just watching everything come together and just um, being with the cast. My favorite part of production week was when I broke a cane playing Oreo baseball. Miss Vath doesn't know about that. Not, not being sick. I'm gonna have to go with not being sick. To Zayar, the, the foam head that everyone kissed, it was definitely a biohazard, but it, <laughs> it's sitting on top of my fridge. 100%. The last scene, scene five of act two, couldn't focus at all. We were laughing and even in the serious scenes. Definitely third show when we put put out the dummy. The dummy went on before uh, it was time and it was um, like the wig was off. Like a just random bump on the bed, so that was really funny. I was just being in the back with Miss Rawls, like doing the lights. We never got through the scene like all through at once and it took us a good 30 minutes to do so but it was definitely the highlight of production week she kept talking about like the stage directions of max and um like max scoot over scoot over 
I'd say the best part of the theater department would be Mrs. Bath. Probably just getting to work with Mrs. Bath. Because she is an amazing woman. She is one of the best teachers on the entire campus. Because she genuinely wants you to improve, and everything she says is because she cares about you. I like acting. I mean, it's obviously being an actor. I love to act and I love being on stage. Because I get to be someone other than me. Because I'm an extremely boring person. Cutscene. Probably this is gonna get like corny. Oh my gosh, this is so corny. <laughs> but the people. But it's being around people who like share all the interests that I share. To connect with um, people who share like such a common interest. The cast. Um, and then just meeting all these different people and how each cast, I've done four different productions and I love how each cast is different from the previous year or from the musical or from the play and it's just really nice to have that bond and connection with other people at school. Just like having that community. Kind of that we're one family and it's really nice to be able to like see people so many different ways and just spend time like outside of having to be at school all the time with them. Of course like the community and also like just taking on a different person's like persona, walking in someone else's shoes. The atmosphere and um, all the people. And then also just to be able to show your gifts from God that he gave you and be able to portray that and offer for him. My message to the rest of the cast would be thank you for putting up with me, for the patience, to get me through all my lines, through helping me through all my lines, and just overall dealing with the shenanigans and potential rude, I, know, I was probably rude to a lot of people, which I apologize for, um, but just thank y'all. It, it was really fun and couldn't have done it without y'all. Let me be corny again. Um, thank you for making such an amazing performance happen. No, I'm serious though, like, um, like, <laughs> um, it like ended up being a great performance because everybody did their job and everybody stepped up, even when things got kind of rough in the middle of it, um, everyone pulled through, ended up making a really great performance and I'm very thankful for that. You're all amazing! I would just say thank you to everybody for putting up with me and then also thank you for being so willing to work hard and just have fun and make new memories and new friends um, and I just love you all so much. I love you. Yeah. I thought the show was going to be the most boring show I've ever been a part of but it really came together in the end and I can only thank the actors and the stage crew and everyone and uh, just keep doing what you're doing. So my message for the Moto cast is definitely thank you for the memories, thank you for all the laughs and for making this a very special last play. For Murder on the Orient Express cast, I just want to say how grateful I am that you all like just powered through and that we were able to work together as a team and that you had patience with me because this is my first time doing lights ever. Um, I'm just so grateful to be with you guys and I love you. I love you guys. My message for the cast is uh, I just want to thank everyone for being super welcoming and super encouraging to everyone in the cast, um, no matter their part um, or you know their abilities or anything, whatever they thought of them, everyone was just always super loving, super kind. And finally, message to any future thespians or people wondering if they should get into theater, I would say just do it. To just go for it. Don't be afraid to like be the theater kid. Honestly, it's a whole lot of fun. It could be a hidden talent or a future for you. For my juniors and sophomores and freshmen that you guys it's time for you to step up. This is your upcoming year. It's all for you so definitely keep doing this. Keep going at this and hopefully you guys keep just shining on stage. Um, I think theater is something that everyone can try and a lot of people who may not have expected to find enjoyment in it um, can love it. Obviously I'm always gonna say learn your lines faster. Learn your lines. Don't be like a couple of us, including me. Learn your lines. Learn your lines, learn your lines, and learn your lines. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the community, because it goes by in the blink of an eye. Enjoy the time you have with each other, because high school goes by a lot faster than you think. And if you are a theater kid, there are like hundreds of other theater kids that you're gonna meet. And those people, 
actually like enjoy being around you and you need to find those people. It's joint theater guys. 